Okay. I'm just downloading it. Yeah, luckily I didn't show his face. Stupid ass kid, man. This is what these leftists are teaching these kids. So you have an Arabi kid. You have an Arabi kid who's getting brainwashed by these evil, sick, white leftists to ruin his own life. This is probably a glitch. This uh, views are probably a glitch that I'm getting. So don't worry about it. It's a glitch. You have an Arabi kid throwing away his life for these white leftists. I hope he, he uh, nothing bad happens to that kid. But that's just sad. But anyway, what I was going to say... We, we lost two hours of the VOD, that's okay. Yeah. He left Islam, the most beautiful religion, in my view, that's my personal view, in the world. And he can't, he doesn't even know, for Marxism, supposedly, he doesn't even know anything about Marxism. Right? But let me tell you something. Because the kid said some stupid shit. He said some dumb shit. These fucking uh, youngsters, man. Here's what I was going to say. What I was going to say was that if you care about the Palestinians, you're going to think in terms of concrete reality and not in terms of your fake abstract morality. You're not going to say, I want to destroy America. What you're going to say is I'm going to do everything in my power to help the Palestinians. And that's defined by the conditions of possibility. What helps the Palestinians more? Building a mass movement of Americans that's actually going to be able to challenge America's policies in relation to Israel. Or sitting and shouting, I hate America. You're never going to get anywhere saying that in this fucking country. You're not going to pose a threat to this country. You're not going to pose a threat to this country's policies. You're only going to stop American imperialism within America by convincing the American people and showing the American people that imperialism is not in their interest. Was he a Muslim or an ex-Muslim? Ex-Muslim. Actually, ex-Muslim coming and lecturing me to recite the Fatiha and test what a Muslim I am. Voidborn donated $50. When he said I can't destroy America, I don't have power it speaks to the complete lack of clarity in the Western left. The way that you seize power is through the people themselves. The American people can only be reached through patriotism. That's that. It's so simple. It's so fucking simple. But all of these hyper emotional screaming people. <laughs> you can't reason with them. You can't reason with them. What can you say? They just scream and scream and scream. You can't reason with them. What about the suicide nets? What about what they're doing to the Uyghurs? And they're going one by a thousand places at once. Fanatics. My God, the insanity of America. The insanity of what this country is doing. I come from an immigrant family. I see firsthand how this country destroys my people. I see it firsthand. What this fucking country does to my own people. Fucks them in the head. Because it happened to me. That's how I know it. It fucks them in the head. These Muslims, let me tell you what's going on. 
Let me tell you what's going on with the second, even first generation Muslims who come to Western countries. They come to Western countries where a lot of people are hostile to Muslims, right? So the only people who are being friendly to the Muslims are the leftists. Oh, I can fit in with the leftists then. They like me. So you go talk to the leftists and slowly, slowly they take bits and pieces from you. Oh, you have conservative values. Let me take some bits away. Oh, you're a Muslim. Let me take some bits away. Sooner or later, you're not even a fucking Muslim or Arab in the first place. You just become a white leftist. So what the racists wanted in the first place, which was for you to just assimilate, is what eventually happens. That's just eventually what happens. Being a true Muslim, will you cancel? Yeah. Is all assimilation bad? Yes, it is. All assimilation is bad. All assimilation is bad. Even if you have to keep it private, if you have Muslim values and you have Muslim beliefs, never, ever cave to the Western leftists. Never. Never. No matter where you go. You don't bite the hand that feeds you and go against the country you live in. But you never renounce your traditions. In the name of fitting in with these fucking losers that are Western leftists. Because no one's going to respect you. Nobody respects someone who turns against their family. Nobody respects someone who turns against their forefathers. What about Chinese assimilation policy? Oh, I not Chinese assimilation policy. China's a thousands-year-old civilization. For thousands of years, they've had a dialectic between centralization and decentralization. It has nothing to do with Western assimilation. And China is a country so attuned to cultural and ethnic differences. When you mention that, it boils my fucking blood. If you knew how it works in China... You would get it, you would bow on your fucking knees and beg to be forgiven for being such a dumb fuck. The Chinese are not leading their people down a path of nihilism and self destruction. Now the dumb fuck is here. This other dumb fuck. What? Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, the, um, okay. I'm gonna be... I want to be honest, man, like, like, her opinions and her values, that's, that's actually what a lot of, like, Zoomer, you know, Vietnamese uh, uh, communists actually believe in. It's like this, this, this warped, Americanized, you know, uh, 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 version of, uh, of, 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 of communism. It's like, look, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say this, man, you shouldn't go in there. You shouldn't be arguing with all these people, man. Like, like, they're all your friends, dude. You know, Bosch, Destiny. Luna, they're all your friends. You could, you have no allies right now. I remember they're watching the John Zerka stream. How are they my friends? They believe in the same shit as you. No, Although, you know, they don't they, believe in anything maybe you're, I do. Maybe you're a bit more based or whatever, but like at the, at the end of the day, man, it's like, I'm uh, also, I'm waiting for my partner as well to join, but yeah, um, I, I don't care. So listen, yeah, sorry. let me ask a question. <clears throat> yeah. Look, look. Oh, yeah, sorry. So the masses of the American people who don't virtue signal to me and don't use the same terms I use, 
Those are my enemies. But Vau Shinem is my friends, right? Just because they yeah. use the same words as I do. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are pretty much on the same side. It's just you just need just to Just because we use some bit. of the same words, right? Yeah. But the real masses of people, the working people, who they call deplorable reactionaries, those are my enemies, right? Yeah, man. Look, Hals, at, at, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be going around attacking these, these, these innocent people, man. It's like, at, dude, you're calling Luna a fraud, even though she you is yourself, a fraud. dude. She is a fraud. She isn't, dude. Yes, she is. She's, she's an accurate representation of what sort of the modern day... That, that's that's if I take your word I mean, for it. I don't take your word for it. Why not, dude? It's just, it's just how it is over there, man. It's like... How do you know? They're very, you know... Hey. Hey, I don't know, man. But I'm just saying. I'm what just saying. What do you mean you don't like, I've talked to these people. I've talked to a lot of these, uh, these, 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 these Vietnamese communists. You know, people okay. from like the I don't believe well, you. Who aren't officially part of the Vietnamese Communist Party, but like you know, they, they, they. I, I don't believe. I don't them. believe that Vietnamese communists have anything to do with Luna Oi. They would agree with a lot of what she says, you know, and like I don't agree with that. Right. <laughs> well, dude, you're calling her a fraud. She is a fraud. And, like, I'm checking Twitter. She isn't. And, and well, she I'm is, being very clear, it's like, she isn't. She is 100,000% a fraud. This, this whole, you know, victimization complex that you're, you know, accusing her of, of oh, dude, you know, she's going in there, trying to make yeah, people fucking sad, bully. feel bad about the Vietnam War and shit like that, shit that happened 40 years ago, right? It, like, that's pretty much what they're like as well over in Vietnam. Okay. And I'm being honest, like, like I, I, I don't believe you. How about that? I just don't believe you. You'll have to talk to some Vietnamese communists, man. It's like they are. Yeah, they are I like have. Like I actually have really... talked to some. I've gotten DMs my, by my, Vietnamese. I've gotten DMs you, by Vietnamese communists saying thank you, Haas. Thank you so much for what you said. Well, uh, look, man. It, you're calling her a fraud. You're calling her, you know, you know, all these, all these ter the terrible things, man. And you're and you're talking shit about, you know. Her, 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 her boyfriend calling him a, a, a sex pat, you know, a, a sexual uh, a criminal or whatever, right? Did you, did, you read like, the, did you read the article? Sort of. I sort of skimmed through it. Yeah, you didn't read it. it was you few, didn't fucking it read was it. Few, go read it again then and see if that's what I said. Dude. Uh, dude, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm, I'm, I'm actually shaking right now. I'm actually very scared right now. Uh, but uh, my debate partner is in show queue at the moment. And, um, you know. Okay. He has some so things. As words? a matter of fact, we're both accusing you of being, you know. Let's bring the debate partner. What do you want? Hello? His mic is muted. Okay. One moment. You don't want to acknowledge all the good the West has done for human civilization. Like, that's my main issue with you. You always point to the East as this beacon of civilization when me, as a Taiwanese American, I admit that the West and Europe are superior in many regards uh, regarding civilization, uh, regarding um, history, all of that. So, yeah. Okay, so you have an inferiority complex, and that's my problem? No, 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 I don't have an inferiority yeah, complex. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you fucking no, do. I think, I think yeah, you wait, fucking wait, do. Wait. I think you have the inferiority really? complex. Really? Really? about it Because you come from a long line of... Uh, merchants and great warriors, yet you're throwing it all away for this sort of bullshit created by China and the Soviet Union and uh, this ideology. Wow, wait, I come from a long of, line of what? Yeah, the merchants and warriors, the Phoenicians, dude. So what? Yeah, so you should like reject this bullshit and we should like return what bullshit? to Marxism. Why? How is it bullshit? Marxism is bullshit because it's so idealistic. It's founded on the premise that everyone should be equal when no, the reality it's not. Of humans... 
Yes, it is. Citation. Citation. All Marxist literature in the okay. One Marxist citation. Literature. Okay. When you when Marx refers to the classes of people, he doesn't specify a singular race or a singular people. He's referring to them as a collective. That's equality. No, it's not. Citation? I don't need a fucking citation. Okay, dude, but you're rejecting your ancestors for, like, this theory created by a German guy. So what? Yeah, that's my problem. How am I rejecting my ancestors by doing that? You think my ancestors wanted me to not learn from others? No. And put it in my own way and think about it on my own terms? That are, that are in contradiction with their own beliefs. What's the contradiction? The contradiction is that Marxism is this like forced ideology on so many people. And uh, you just picked it up willy-nilly. That's just not true. I became a Marxist as an extension of coming from a Shia background. And being fascinated and uh, immersed in the Shia revolutionary tradition in the Middle East. Dude, I want to convert to Shiism. That's the thing that irks me the most. Okay. Because you, in a sense, while, yeah, you, you like pick and choose. You take all the aspects of Shia, Shiism, which in a sense mesh well with communism and like Marxism. Like what? Uh, for example, the, um, the uh, what's it called? The reverence of authority in Shiism. There's always a, a higher, it's, a, it's more hierarchical than Sunnism, for example. Same thing in communism, the government or the state is. Uh, you said you're Taiwanese? Yes. Okay, show me your face. Why would I do that? I'm not showing it on stream. Show yeah, me your I'm face. Gonna, I'm yeah, I'm not going to show it on stream. Show me your face. No, no, no I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. Oh, okay. So you're not Taiwanese. Dude, I am Taiwanese. Why would I lie about that? Can you speak a language? Like I said, dude, I'm second generation. So you can't speak well. anything in Taiwanese. Why would I want to learn some like Easternized bullshit? I was born in the West. Okay. Yeah, th that's literally it, dude. So you you worship the West, and you think the West is superior to uh, everyone else? I mean, it's evident. Right. There's no. Uh, Why is that? Well. If we were to look at most major scientific discoveries uh, made in almost every epoch, except for maybe an, um, antiquity, we see most of it, even during antiquity, a lot of it. That's comes just from patently not true. It's what only recently that a, the significant portion of uh, discoveries have been made in the West. And that's a result of Western modernity. But before then, the centers of enlightenment and innovation and discovery. We're not in Europe. What, what do you mean that we're not in Europe? Is Greece not in Europe? Is Italy not in Europe? Even if you include Greece and Italy, when you compare it to the Egyptians, the Persians, the Chinese, when you compare it to uh, even the Central Asian civilization, when you compare it to India, you're talking okay. about nothing. Okay, but we're not living in antiquity or in the medieval age. We're well, you're the one who mentioned world. every epoch of history, and it's just not true. No, well, most epochs of history. No, not even eras. most. What do you mean, not even the most? It's true. There's citations. No, it's not There's true. About this. It's not true. How is it not true? When, like, most, like, medicine, most advancements in yeah, science... Yeah, was happening technology. outside of Europe. No, that's not true at all. Yes, that's it's hundred percent true. Do you have a source for this? Yes, any history book. You can get your fucking hands on that talks about it. We'll confirm this. But the history, the history books will, of course. I'm not saying that these advancements and these milestones didn't exist in uh, other countries or other regions. Let's of the just world. put it this way: Europe was a backwater peninsula of Asia for most of mankind's history. That is not true. No, yes, no, it is. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. I'll tell you why that's not true. Because, first of all, Greece, while it is true, for example, ancient Greece... Greece absorbed Greece everything itself. from the Persians and the Egyptians and the Indians. I, so I, some speculate. I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you there. But... but Greece there was... was a peninsula of the Persian civilization. Wait, Greece was wait, a peripheral... 
state to the Persian civilization where everything was actually going on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Greece, yes, saw itself closer to Asia than it did to Europe. You're 100% correctly. You're 100% correct there. The Greeks but, thought so-called Europeans were barbarians. Yeah, I know. I know. They but, didn't think they were civilized. They didn't even yeah, think I, they shared humanity with them. But the advanced, but while Egypt and Persia, and while they did have their sort of revivals under the Islamic uh, era and Islamic ages, Greece sort of improved on the ideas presented to them by uh, Persia and Egypt, which started this sort of Western hegemony, like in terms what of... What Western hegemony? What Western hegemony? The West <laughs> as such did not exist until the creation of the Western Catholic Church. Until the Western <laughs> Roman Empire, there was no West. Well, first of all, we have to define what West means. Are you I'm telling West? you the like, origins like of the West. West the, the origins of the West is the Western Roman Empire and the Catholic Church. That's the origin of the West. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But at the same time, like I've stated before, we are living in the modern era in which most of what we take for... Sure, I get it. Matrices were invented by the Muslims. But this sort of next step, in human evolution was presented to us by the West. By your people, dude! What? Look, I consider, and you're gonna, you're gonna freak out, and I get it, you're gonna think I'm trolling, but I'm being 100% serious. I consider Egypt and Persia and the whole Middle East a part of Western civilization. When I say Eastern civilization, I'm referring to like Asia proper, in a sense. China. Oh, you're just, you're just referring to places like China and India, right? Exactly. Well, yes, I agree. They did have Places own... that probably... No, they did, they did. They places that own... probably discovered more than Western Asia. No, 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 that's not true. Yeah, it is true. I mean, Indian China... mathematics uh, was among the most in the history of mankind. No, the Chinese was, was. civilization has produced more insight. They don't even know... They haven't even begun to unearth all the things the Chinese have always known and had known in the past. I agree with you. I'm not saying that India and China didn't discover anything or didn't advance any of the fields that I'm referring to. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that China and India, compared to what the West achieved Please. throughout all of its Force history, explaining how pales, just pales in comparison, really. So my question is... But before, before you start with your inferiority complex about the West, why don't I just put something into perspective for you? Why don't I just put something into perspective for you? If you want to be very, very generous, Western world hegemony is something that has existed maybe for 300 years. If you want to be very generous. 300, maybe 400 if you want to push it years. Okay. 300, 400 there years. are 10,000 years of recorded human civilization. But in those 300 to 400 years, in that small amount of time, when regarding greater human achievement, in that small amount of time, we have been... Sorry, 5,000 years. You said 5,000 years? Yeah, recorded. 5,000 years. Civilization for 10,000 recorded for 5,000. Okay, within that recorded civilization, in those 300 to 400 years, we have ushered ourselves into an age previously unseen, and that's thanks to the West. No, it's not thanks to the West. It's, it's thanks, thanks to the combined civilization of all mankind, and the West was the place that merely reflected upon this. So no, it's not just thanks to the West. The West was a peninsula that reflected upon this in its own way. But ultimately, the modern world, for example, was created in Asia. If it wasn't for the Silk Road, there would be no Renaissance in Italy. That's there would true. be no revival and rediscovery of the sciences 
and of philosophy were it not for the silk roads and the trade routes that were opened up by Asiatic empires. Where actually the great majority of the wealth of mankind was actually being produced. Europe was peripheral in relation to all of this. But why, even though they opened up the trade routes, why did you, as you say, these renaissances, these rediscovery of the sciences, these applications... Because the West was based Europe? on... Because the West was merely based on negation. It took all of the determinate wealth of all civilizations and it reduced it to the bluff of a common negation. It was just a reaction and a response and a negation. It was an abstraction. And the bluff is now being called with the rise of China. This, this, and the look, rise look, of all I'm, and the rise of a new multipolar or order in which the older civilizations from Turkey to Russia to even Latin America now are beginning to be revived. So the bluff of the West and its challenge for humanity is now being answered. But don't you think this is due to more demographic shifts than it is to... No, it's not. Sort of a, are you sure? I mean, if you think about it on the surface level, the demographic shifts in the West are allowing... Because there's, not, there's no longer that... Your, that strong European influence that once was in the West, these countries are having the, like they have the ability to rise now because they have outside and inside help. Hence, why, like, like I said, I'm Taiwanese American, I know a lot of Chinese Americans, many of them, while loyal to the US, even though they've never been to China, they still have a sort of connection there and are willing to help them out, e even if they've never been there. It's this sort of demographic shift that aids these countries in their, so, you know, quote-unquote revival, their quote-unquote growth today. That's just a cope. What do you mean it's just a cope? You're just coping. No, it's not a cope. Yeah, it's it like... is. Haas, please. Okay, but, but like, seriously, though, these countries are going to get better for sure. But we have to give the West credit where credit's due. So I'm not, I never, uh, when have I said the West ever, uh, never contributed anything to humanity? No, you, 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 you basically said, no, you haven't said that, but you basically said that the West uh, is not, was not really the determining contributor. No, it's not. I, no, that's where I disagree, though. I think it is. I think, I think for example, I come from Taiwan. And while you call it an inferiority complex, this is how the majority of Taiwanese people think. Like, they think like me. If they think that, then the majority of them do have an inferiority complex. I just doubt the majority do think like that. No, it, it's true. Ask any Taiwanese person what they Holy think about Holy fuck, populace, thank you so much. Populous. What happened? Holy fuck, populace, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you a lot. Jesus. Uh, okay, yeah, but yeah, a lot of them do think like me. They have the same belief system that like Taiwan, because look, if it weren't for the West, Taiwan wouldn't exist. We need them. We need to, we need to up, you know, keep Taiwan stable. And it's because of the United States. I, it, if you're actually Taiwanese, which I highly doubt, you coming on my show and, uh, Making a fool of yourself and just shaming yourself. What do you mean shaming myself? What if I said that was shameful? Yeah. Listen, didn't you call yourself a patriot earlier when you were arguing with that little kid? What? Didn't you call yourself a patriot when you were arguing with that little kid? Based. You said you were a patriot. You said you liked this country. You even framed it within Islam. You said, we don't bite the hand that feeds you, correct? Hold on, I'm reading a tweet. What are you saying? Uh, no, I said you, you called yourself a patriot, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 you called yourself a patriot. So, as a patriot, while you can dis disagree with the United States in certain aspects, you have to admit the United States um, upholding 
the sanctity of Taiwan is a good thing because they're basically, in a sense, keeping people safe. Because if China got their hands on Taiwan, we'd be fucked, dude. So I'm a patriot and I believe in this country and its people. Why the fuck is my country halfway around the fucking world? No, but but do you in a, you in a province of China? Tell me why my country should be halfway across the fucking world instead of, all, of focusing uh, on ourselves. First of all, it's not a province of China. Uh, second of all, yes, it is. Uh, no, it isn't. It's an independent free state. So, what duty does my country have to occupy some place halfway across the world? Is that dude? The United States doesn't occupy Taiwan. Okay. It it so why are we there? Why are we there? Tell me why we're there. We're there because, listen, most why Taiwanese why are we there? Just answer. Want, most Taiwanese people don't want Chinese influence. That's not our problem. That's not our. Even if that was true, it's not our problem. Okay, it might not be. It might not. If be they the listen, problem. listen, listen, listen. We have our own country. Taiwan is not a state of this country. If we, what the majority of Chinese people think, that has nothing to do with us. Okay, it might not be. It might not be the United States' problem, but you're, you, you have to understand that the United States is a geopolitical actor. If someone beckons for the United States... Why help, do we have to be there? Why do we have to be there? Because Taiwan asked them to be there. It's not a question... So of, what? What do you mean, so what? It's, it's geopolitical. So what? They, Taiwan asked us to be there. Even if that's true, which it's not, why are we there? And by the way, Taiwan mean, didn't ask true. us to fucking be there. The Taiwanese the, people never wanted to be independent from China. That's bullshit, dude. No, they didn't. That's the U.S. pressure dude. is what dude. tried to pressure and snake the uh, KMT with this separatist bullshit. The KMT didn't want separatism. The, the KMT first, yeah, the KMT didn't want separatism because they were the rightful freaking government of China. So they let them continue to believe that, but they don't want to be separatists. No, they, they didn't want to be separatists because they perceived themselves to be the original The KMT government. was founded by Sun Yat-sen. Yeah, I'm aware. The name of the party which inherits the name of Sun Yat-sen will never ever allow China to be broken into pieces. They will never allow for China to be broken into two pieces. Yeah, that, look, dude, that's because Taiwan is the real China. Then let them think that. Let them yeah, make their the case to the Chinese people. Then let them make their case. It's a matter internal to the Chinese people. And so no one else. Do you think the CCP will actually listen to that case? The majority of the Chinese people are with the Communist Party. Yeah, just like how the majority of the Taiwanese people are with the United States. Okay, well guess what? Taiwan what? is not part of China, now is it? I mean, no, Taiwan is not part of the United States, now is it? Taiwan is an independent actor that acts yeah. for the United States. So it's not relevant if the majority of them want us there, even if they did. It's not relevant. Yeah, it is relevant. No, it's not. China, China is an imperialist, expansionist actor. That's all it is. China's imperialist and expansionist because it, it lays claim to some a part of China that's always been a part of China for hundreds and hundreds of years. But the U.S. isn't expansionistic because it's halfway across the fucking world, meddling in people's affairs over business that has no con that is of no concern to America or its people, right? I'm talking about Taiwan. You're talking in general. In the case of Taiwan, I'm saying that Taiwan wants the United States to be there. I don't care. Who cares? Well, the Taiwanese people care. Who cares? We're not their government. Okay, they're not. Okay, I get it. We they're are not, not their government. government. They don't vote. They're not citizens, and they don't pay taxes. You can make you can make the same case for many different countries. Yeah, I am making the case for all other countries who collaborated with the not. So, for example, do you want Japan to have a military like able to be able to wage war again? Do you want that? That has that is of no concern to me. That's not, that's of no concern to you. They if Japan to tries to reignite its former aggression against Asian countries, that will be for Japan to have to deal with. And let me tell you, the prospects don't look bright.
But something tells me the Japanese people don't want that. Let me ask you one question, Haz, and then, then I'll fuck off from your chat, okay? I'll just one question. If China wasn't communist, would you still have these takes? Yes. If China was ruled by a Confucian uh, theocracy, Asher, it would be the same thing. That's just like fucking racist. You know Chinese people are racist as hell, right? You know, I don't care. And I doubt like, that. They're not racist. They're just honest. Are you kidding me? We, we, they're not. They're just honest. They, they, they're wary of foreigners in general. They're not racist. No, 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 no. If that were the case, then white monkey jobs wouldn't exist in China and blacks wouldn't be discriminated the way they were there. Everyone who's a foreigner is going to receive discrimination in China. Well, whites, whites seem to do pretty well for themselves. I, you know, there's a couple of white people in China. No, that's actually, that's no longer really the case, actually. What do you mean by that? They're no longer getting special treatment. The culture's changed. That's not, dude, come on. Haas, come on. Look it up. White monkey jobs still exist in China today. There's no... This is not, really not as much as before. They don't get special treatment anymore. That's why so many of them are vlogging and leaving and uh, being butthurt about it. Because nobody... They're not, they're not seen as exotic or interesting at all anymore. Haas. I've been to a McDonald's... Look, I'm going to tell you something. I, no I normally don't... This is a true story. You're going to think it's bullshit. But this is 100% true. I went to Beijing. Was it three or four years ago and I went to a McDonald's and there was a black guy in there who worked as a cashier. He spoke, he spoke fluent Mandarin. His Mandarin was excellent. But when a Chinese per like there was this one Chinese old lady, she didn't see him. Her back was turned to him and she turned around and she was like, Ay -ya! and then she like ran away at the mere sight of a black guy. People it's not because crazy. Chinese people are racist. It's because they're not used to seeing people who look different, probably. She wasn't used to seeing someone who looks different. She was an old woman who lived in China without seeing people who looked very different from she did. And there's nothing, it's not inherently racist. It's just, she was probably shocked that someone looked different. If that's Hi. true, it's assuming what you're saying is true. It is true. That's not racist. Racism, for example, is so dehumanization. Racism, for example, is having a country with a history of slavery and actual racial discrimination against black people and treating them as second-class citizens because you're saying you're superior and they're inferior. People being surprised or fascinated or even afraid of foreigners because they're just not used to seeing them is not inherently racist. Firstly, how is China supposed to take black slaves from Africa, considering their geographical uh, position? Second of all, there were people literally avoiding his, you know, cashier, whatever, you know, cash register thing, whatever you want to call it, because he was black. This if what you're saying is true, which I doubt, <laughs> China is a humanistic civilization. And I'm sure China has an internal dialogue about the widespread conceptions and treatments of foreigners to the extent that it becomes an issue. But as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing inherently racist about China's uh, treatment of foreigners. There's nothing inherently racist? No, there isn't. You're implying that Chinese people... I don't... Like, you're, you're not really implying it. I'm sorry. I don't want to accuse you of anything. I look up to you, by the way. Can I just get that out of the way? I look up to you. I don't want to... Uh, say you're implying this but you're implying that chinese people don't really have access to the i mean they don't have access to the internet if you think about it but chinese civilization has had no history of colonizing random foreign countries so oh. they don't have a phenomena of mass immigration where they're going to be exposed to different cultures and different peoples on a day-to-day -day basis first of all china um, what you, when you think in your head, when you think of China, that is comprised of different ethnic groups. It, that entire land. Yeah, and that's why, as far as the ethnic groups that are indigenous to China, people have come to an understanding to be able to deal with each other and interact with each other. But as far as complete foreigners are concerned, 
it can be intimidating for some, especially older and rural Chinese people who don't know how to interact with them. They just don't, they just, uh, you know, they're just different people. They look different, I mean, and they don't know, you know, it's just different. It's different to them. There's nothing racist about that. But they didn't come to an understanding. There's still ethnic conflict in China today. It's it's not as reported on, so you probably don't. But know they've about come it. to it. They've more or less come to an understanding. Uh, have whatever extent of ethnic conflict exists within China, it's nowhere like the U.S. China, listen, China is a country. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, look, did I hear what you just said correctly? It's nowhere like the U.S. Pause. They're not putting people in the U.S. here in camps. They're not doing that. They're, They're not doing, doing that in there. China either. Huh? The AP what? Press just released an article saying, oh, I guess they're not doing it anymore. You, first of all, look who the AP Press is owned by and then come back and tell me why you think they said Who's that. Who's it owned by? The Jews. Hold on, I'm trying to ban this guy. Looks like that's another VOD I gotta fucking... Hold on. Sick. Like... 